President Nangagwa has arrived back home from a successful trip to the United Kingdom, where he had the opportunity to engage and re-engage, especially with global leaders, some of whose countries had turned their backs on Harare. The president touched down at the Robert Gabriel Mugabe International Airport just after 11.30 a.m. today. He was welcomed by Vice President Constantino Chiwenka, ZANU-PF Vice President and Second Secretary Dikembo Mahadi, Defense and War Veterans Affairs Minister Appa Machinguri Kashiri, Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services Minister Monica Mitsbangwa, Minister of State for Provincial Affairs and Devolution for Harare Oliver Chidao and Service Chiefs, among others. The president was also welcomed by hundreds of ZANU-PF supporters who came to praise him for the sterling job he did while in Scotland. Speaker after speaker thanked President Nangagwa for leading with distinction the re-engagement drive. Speaking before departing Scotland yesterday, President Nangagwa said his visit allowed him to inform leaders whose countries had disengaged Zimbabwe that a lot had changed since November 24, 2017, and Harare was now determined to forge good relations with all the nations of the world guided by the mantra, friend to all and enemy to none. Dot President Nangagwa also invited investors to take up opportunities in various sectors of the economy that include mining, tourism, agriculture, manufacturing and ICTS, among others. A special invitation was also offered to Scottish people to invest and frequently visit Zimbabwe considering that Ian Douglas Smith and David Livingston's forefathers were born in Scotland. The president said the Scottish had the duty to come to Zimbabwe to see the development done by some of their own and then continue from there.